Hello and welcome to my Kiln Floor 2 tutorial. Um, this time we're going to be covering ceilings. So, in your environment, Microsoft Statics Mesh Ceiling. Oh, make sure you clear out your filter or else you won't be able to see anything. Um, for ceilings, for me, I see it as like a decorative thing. It's not really important to have early on, especially if you're still shifting your map around. Uh, I put it up as like the last minute sort of deal. So, as you notice, with the ceiling, I didn't have my hand on WASD. Um, when you put it in, the pivot point or this arrow point is actually exactly where the floor is. So, if I actually replace the floor with the ceiling it thinks kinda like it's in the same spot sort of deal so so yeah you could technically just copy the entire floor and then replace them all with ceilings that's one way to do it um, and if you notice near the top just like with the walls there's a little gap there. So if ceilings appear underneath, there will be this gap. And the only time you'll notice is like on the edges, like here. So it's really no big deal. Um, I'm going to be covering bevels in this tutorial also. So, first off, you're just going to watch me cover this entire level with ceiling. So I'm just alt dragging here. Whoops. I'm gonna click control Z to get back my selection. And the main reason why I don't like putting ceilings is because then I can't can't see keeps getting in my way you know what I mean okay so I got the ceiling on the top and it's just like wow completely different area now it doesn't feel like you got so much room oh what did I do okay so I'm going to select all the ceilings except for the parts here. Don't select them. It's like jigsaw thing, but there's this lag, so it keeps missing some. I don't get it. Okay. And now let's lower it down. Shoot, what have I done? Where'd my ceiling go? I still have it selected. Maybe it didn't do anything. That's crap. Okay, hold Alt, tell it to go down. Let it think. There we go. Okay, now we've got a ceiling all the way across. And most of the time you won't notice, except for here, where it actually blocks my ramp. So let's get rid of those. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. So for bevels, as you may notice, it's pretty apparent that there is a gap in between the floor and the and the ceiling. So that is why the magical guys at Tripwire came up with bevels. So ceiling bevel base. So what bevels are are just little I guess you could call it curves 
So I'm going to select this. Uh, make sure you pay attention to the direction. So what is this first level I want? I would like a bevel in the white positive direction. So find the bevel white positive and replace it. So place width that. Well, that doesn't work, does it? I beveled the wrong thing. Yeah, I beveled this area. It's definitely not white positive. Did I rotate my floor accidentally? Or was it this white positive that I want? What the hell? I thought I had that. Did they just mislabel it earlier? Or maybe I was just misreading it. X positive. I am dumb. Okay. Double Y positive. So yeah, so the Y positive bevels up, and if you have the floor bevel, so we go to floor, bevel, base, and find one for bevel white positive, and replace it, we'll get this nice closed off area here. instead of seeing the space between the floors. Yay! Okay. So now we need x negative. So find x negative here in the level area. x positive, x positive, x negative. This is why I don't like ceilings. Okay, so now we need x. Okay, so now we go back to the ceiling, bevel, base, x negative, place width. There we go. Boom. Only I did something with this. I changed the bevel to frick. Bevel base. Why positive? Why so positive? I do not know. There we go. Okay. So, to demonstrate what I'm talking about. This is what it looks like now. Instead of noticing the gap in between. Aha, there we are. Okay. And you can do more fancy stuff with the ceiling too. And there's this nice little banked ceiling. And banked Maybe a bit more confusing than than bevel. So I guess I'll just showcase this here. Um, so let's see why negative. So I should turn around this way. Okay, that make it a little easier. Um, y negative x positive. So like this piece, see what happens if I replace this here. And then you get a piece that looks like this. Hmm, how cool is that? And then let's look for y negative down. Banked y negative, which would be all these pieces, right? Oh, oh, oh. Let's 
go y positive would be all of these up here yes and let's see x positive would be this direction place with that x negative not that one okay now time for these corner pieces I bet they're all at the top aren't they Okay, so the way I'm kind of figuring this out is y positive, x positive is banked. So y positive is banked and x positive is blank, banked, which means this piece fits right here. So if we go down stairs, what do we see? Oh, I went down too far. Here we go. As you can tell, it's got a nice little spaceship feeling. Yeah. I think it's pretty awesome. And one could also, you know, have it banked up this way and then banked down that way. But I feel like this doorway section will be a little difficult. But it's got the necessary pieces for it. It's got the partial, so when you're rounding a corner, you can do it that way. So we, you got all these pieces, Lego pieces at your disposal that you can mess around with. But yeah, so ceilings are pretty unique in that they got the bevel feature or the banked feature, but floors and ceilings and also walls will have their uh, bevels. Oh man, I was going to showcase that uh, somehow. Somehow I was going to bevel between the wall and the ceiling, but here's this map doesn't doesn't set up for it, does it? No, not really. Oh well, and that's if we added another story up here. So a three-story freak show. Well. Hopefully you learned a little bit about ceilings. It's mostly all decorative in my opinion and it gets in the way when initially when making the mapping. So it will be, I put up floors and walls first and then once you're done kind of finalized with that then put up ceilings. That would be my suggestion. Okay, thanks for watching.